Hi, this is Jasmine, and this is how I would dress up in a Wes Anderson movie. Chapter 1 The Grand Budapest. Let's start with Agatha, the iconic heroine who helped her great love Zero and Monsieur Gustave escape prison by hiding tools in her baked treats. I tried to portray Agatha's look as an apprentice baker by wearing a green midi skirt to complement the hotel's pastel hues and a cream top with buttons for a more utilitarian vibe. I also wore a trench coat to set the tone for the murder mystery vibe of the movie. Ideally, Oxfords would work best, but I decided to wear low heel mules that are still decent for running, which was very much needed in Grand Budapest. Moving on to Zero, our main protagonist. Zero works as a bellman at the beautiful Grand Budapest. Here I'm wearing a purple blazer with a sheen on the collar and an old rose cigarette cut trousers. My take on his outfit is inspired by the color scheme of the film, which is predominantly adorned with pink and purple hues. Underneath the blazer, I'm wearing a lace corset as a tribute to all the glamorous elderly ladies that grace the Grand Budapest. Overall, I think this pastel-hued power suit is the best balance of strength and tenderness, which can be both seen in most of the characters from the film. Chapter 2 Moonrise Kingdom A coming-of-age story of two 12-year-olds who fell in love and ran away from home. If I were Susie, the female protagonist of the film, I honestly would be packing personal yet impractical things like her. In my case, that would include my beloved picnic basket and a Polaroid camera. In the movie, Susie wears a pink dress with white collar. To make her outfit more fitting for my age, I wore this pink satin dress with a square neckline. And here, you'll find me struggling to row a boat. And oh, there's me as Sam, the male protagonist. Sam is an orphan boy scout who is determined to find his own kingdom and escape the world where he struggles to fit in. Just like many characters from Wes Anderson films, Sam is emotionally complex yet bright and mature beyond his years. Here I am wearing a light olive shirt, paperback shorts, and sturdy combat boots perfect for exploring the wilderness. This is me trying to replicate the scene where Susie and Sam met in the middle of a field, an iconic beginning of the adventure that was about to unfold. Chapter 3 The Royal Tenenbaums Margot Tenenbaum, the female protagonist of the film, was an adopted literary genius who's hiding a nicotine addiction. I don't smoke, but I do drink socially, hence the wine. Overall, Margot is an enigmatic character, a walking contradiction. She's glamorous, preppy, edgy, rebellious all at the same time. And her outfit is a representation of the mystery and the irony that she is. She wears a fur coat and a tennis dress, which is believed to be a subtle connection to her adopted brother, a tennis star whom she's been secretly in love with. Margot's style didn't evolve as she aged, perhaps symbolizing her being trapped in her childhood. I don't have a tennis dress, so here I am wearing a tennis skirt with a polo shirt. Next, we have a special appearance of Chris, my boyfriend as Richie Tannenbaum, who's also been secretly and hopelessly in love with Margot. Just like Margot, Richie's outfit is a bit of a mismatch. Richie wears a polo shirt and a beige blazer with matching trousers. He wears an iconic headband, but we don't have that, so this would have to do. And here is us, just, you know, walking. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.